Rogers and Kratos is breathing new life into the legacy UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters by taking its avionics suite into the 21st century. The modernized cockpit promises greater situational awareness, reduced pilot workload, and increased mission safety. The company has previously certified similar systems on the Bell 412 EPI and Bell 429 aircraft. We've taken all of the analog instruments out and we're in the process of taking those and replacing them with a fully digital modernized cockpit. It's comparable to the UH-60 mic model and we have some improvements to that and some new open architecture opportunities that will allow you to add new equipment that isn't yet on the mic model. The open architecture means that additional equipment can be integrated into the avionics in the future without needing to remove the system. According to the company, more than 2,000 Blackhawks with analog cockpits are still flying around the world. Well, we're expecting that foreign governments will be interested in Blackhawks for a number of missions, certainly in areas of search and rescue, of disaster relief, and in uh, using it for perhaps uh, police or paramilitary type of operations. We also believe that military forces will be interested in it to support their UH-60 mic models because it has the same pilot vehicle interface that the UH-60 does and that it would give them a chance to not only train but to use it for interoperability. Current operators of the UH-60A and L models can upgrade their aircraft or obtain reset UH-60 helicopters with digital cockpit modernization already installed. Well, we can do both ways, and in fact, you can have the aircraft upgraded in country. So if a foreign operator wanted to keep the aircraft in, in their country, they could do it with their maintenance and overhaul people there. We could send teams to help train them or support them as required for that particular application. We're also buying aircraft that are surplus to the U.S. government, UH-60A models, and we are upgrading those with the digital cockpit and we're offering those as a complete package for sale. We go through the aircraft and we make sure that all of the limited life components have a minimum of 500 hours on it, which for most operators would enable them to operate the aircraft for probably about three years. But we also have options if they want 750 hours or 1,000 hours, we also offer that upgrade too. And it's just how you want to use the aircraft, what missions the aircraft would be flown, and how the operator chooses to spread its maintenance capabilities. A customer could save quite a bit of money comparing the cost of an upgraded and reset UH-60A model with a brand new UH-60M. I think for many operators it's going to be a, a real savings that to take this modernized cockpit in an A, which has all the capabilities of, of the latest Blackhawk, you would end up paying about 25% of what you would for the new Blackhawk. So it, it's quite a savings. And we're also offering lease programs so that if the operator had other issues in, in terms of how they wanted to buy the aircraft, we can operate under a lease. Even though it may seem like the company could be competing with Sikorsky's new Blackhawk helicopters, Rogers and Kratos is in fact working with Sikorsky to make sure the reset aircraft are in top-notch condition.